Hi everybody, today we're going to have a look at an abstract strategy for understanding the place value of each number in a four digit number using a model like this. We'll have our main number in the top and we'll show our thousands, hundreds, tens and ones that make up the whole number. Let's take a look shall we? When you think about place value of each digit in an abstract way, it's really important that you understand the value of each of the digits that, and you know how to write them down. You can practice this using the spider diagram method that we used before in our pictorial strategy. Let's have a look at how we can use that strategy to practice in two different ways. The first way has the values written along the bottom, and the second way has the four digit number inside it. Have a look at them and think about what numbers go in the right places. Let's have a go. I can see here that the value here is 5, so the 1 must be 5. The value here is 20, so it will be 2. The value here is 200, so I add another 2. And the value here is 1000 so it will be 1. The four digits in my number match the values, so that's right. Let's have a look at the second one. I can see here that there are no ones, so I need to start by writing a zero. The value here in the tens is 50, so I write a 5. There are no hundreds as well, so I put another zero, and I've got 3000, so I write a 3. Let's have a go at reading them. This first one is 1,225. And the bottom one is 3,050. Remember to miss out the two sections where they don't have any value. Let's look at the other one. There's eight ones. There's one ten, which is 10. We've got three hundreds, so it's three hundreds and nine thousands, so it's nine thousand. On the next one, we've got five ones. We've got zero tens and zero hundreds. And you can see we've got two thousand. Let's have a go at reading those two. Here we have nine thousand three hundred and eighteen. At the bottom, we've just got two thousand and five. And again, remember, that we don't say or write down the two numbers that have no value. See if you can have a go at these two different ways of practicing an abstract way of understanding the value of four digits in the number. 